Welcome to the Yorkshire Dales. This is early in August and it is raining. And I'm here to see the Rivels Head Head Ducks. Impressive piece of engineering this. Now I'm using my GoPro because of the weather. My uh, regular camera would not put up with this rain. And I've just discovered I left my waterproof trousers at home. That's impressive, isn't it? That's pretty impressive. I missed the train just as I arrived, which would have made it even more spectacular, but hey ho. Right now, getting a bit closer. See the scale of it. I don't know how visible it is. There's a couple of vehicles underneath the arches there. Uh, now, where I grew up in West London, there's the Warncliffe Viaduct, which is on the uh, Great Western Railway built by Brunel. Um, I think it's nine arches thereabouts and not as tall as this but it's still quite impressive I'll put a picture in to show you actually I think it might be more than nine arches definitely not as tall as this In terms of some detail, yeah, I'd say, I'd say it's twice as high as the Warncliffe. Um, it's got quite a lot of uh, additional stress um, added. Oh, actually, I don't know how clear it is. You can see that some of it must have broken away and they've added in some concrete blocks with uh, steel stress. What's the word? The plates, where they stress the metal, I've forgotten what it's called now. It's quite a lot in different little spots. Through to the other side. I'm sure it looks exactly the same. Oh, so it's slightly curved. I did think it was. It's starting to rain again. I don't know what stone that is, but let's see. The only bit of normal brick is in the archway, right at the top. I recorded a piece and then uh, realised I didn't actually press the record button. So I'll start again. Um, they kind of have a base to it, it's hard to see. You can just see that there's a corner there. I'll move the camera slightly. So there is a corner there, so this bit is kind of a base. It's the same all the way along, there is a base of sorts. Um, I can't tell any difference in the blocks. But what is interesting is the shape of the blocks. If you see this one here, it's pretty flat. It hasn't been smooth at all. But then the one above it protrudes out quite a lot. That's quite common. This is not what you call a flat face. finished the surface, which gives it its look, I suppose. Rain is sweeping in, so I'm getting wet. 
these GoPros are a pain. It keeps resetting to like American factory uh, defaults. So I have to keep turning it off and on again. Anyway, last rain storm passed through. There's another one on its way. So the rain's gone away. It's time to move on somewhere else and get wet somewhere else. No trains, unfortunately. But well worth the visit. The only thing I've noticed is uh, there's a lot of walkers, even in this weather, a lot of walkers. And uh, heading in that direction. Part of a uh, a dedicated trail of some sort. There's so many people to be on it. Right, train has just disappeared. Having gone over the viaduct, um, and I got it on my uh, 4K camera. Um, partly because it was already set up, and partly because this thing would not bloody turn on because of set on the bloody default again. Oh, I do hate GoPro sometimes. Just made it back to the car. Before that hit. Oh my god, I got to set the suit. Lucky.